Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So rather than doing giving you guys a makeup tutorial today, I wanted to give you guys my tips and tricks on how to slay New Year's Eve. So you are going to look your best. So if you want to see my secret tips and tricks, keep on watching. So my first tip whenever I have an important day where I need to look fresh and I need to look my best is I make sure I get enough sleep the night before. Getting enough sleep is so important. You don't want any ugly looking bags under our eyes. So getting enough sleep just the night before is really important. People underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Get your eight hours of sleep. My next tip is hair extensions. Currently I'm using the Foxy Locks hair extensions. So whether you have short or middle length or long hair i'm thinking that adding a little bit of extra volume always makes someone look a lot more extra and put together nice looking hair makes such a difference if you're a person that doesn't like to like do a lot of makeup and wants to be maybe more natural and you have your hair nicely done like that makes such a big difference i'd rather have nice looking hair and no makeup then have makeup and my hair looking weird so hair extensions always give that extra glamorous voluminous look i personally wear hair extensions mostly for the volume and the body that it gives me i have very very thin hair hair extensions just give me that extra boost and i always wear clip-in extensions because they're just the easiest there's no commitment you can clip them in in five minutes and take them out after. So there are a lot of hair extension brands out there. What I like about Foxy Locks is that they do not tangle. I have had so many hair extensions after a few wears, they really started to tangle. And what I've noticed with Foxy Locks, they do not tangle. I have hair from them that I got like three years ago and it's still like it still looks good that is something that really differentiates them from like other hair extensions you also do not always have to wear like a full set of hair extensions i'm thinking if you have like short hair let's say you have like a bob clipping like two or three pieces in will make give you that extra volume sometimes just adding a little pieces here and there will make the biggest difference so my next two tips are makeup Related now, I don't want to go too much into detail with makeup because I wanted to give you guys some tips that are applicable Applicable is that in a word? That you can apply no matter what type of makeup you wear one tip that always makes you look amazing is to Place highlighter on key points of your face areas of your face that you want to stand out and those are usually the areas that the sun would hit you so so what i what is this oh, what i would usually do is place highlighter right underneath the brow bone that gives you like an extra lift on the cupid's bow it's very subtle but try it it makes the biggest difference on the tops of your cheekbones i know not everyone is a fan of a lot of highlighter you don't have to do that stuff it's something that also really looks good on many people is if you place the highlighter just right above your uh, brow like right here and you go down like in a c motion that looks really really good and it will give you that j-lo glow effect i also like to place highlighter right here just a little some people don't like it i'm thinking it looks really good and if you're not oily if you have dry skin like i do you can also place a little bit just a tiny bit of highlighter on your forehead which will make it glow and it will make you look a lot fresher obviously don't do that stuff on the forehead if you're oily on to our glow on our body i always like to tan before i have an important night out because it does make the biggest difference. People just generally look better when they're a little more tan. My favorite tanning brand is Loving Tan. As usual, I've been using them for years and it's just my, my favorite. I suggest you tan the day before and then you shower it off. Just because if you don't, it can look kind of like intense. And also you don't want the guide color to rub off on your clothes later, especially if you're wearing whites. Another tip I can give you if you want that overall glow is you can either 
take your highlighting brush and apply highlighter just like that i love doing this on my shoulders it gives the most amazing finish in pictures it looks so good in pictures but if you don't want to do your whole body with a brush you can also use your favorite body moisturizer and mix some loose shimmer or highlighter in it for example i have this loose pigment by makeup geek it's called stargazer i'm not sure this might be a little bit too whitish but we're gonna try anyway and then i have my nivea moisturizer with nivea nivea how do people pronounce it and what you can do is mix the two together and it will give the most amazing glow So I used a lot right now just to show you guys what it will look like. That hand is glowing. So I just use a lot just to show you guys. But And if you have a dress and you want to show legs, this will look amazing. On to body shaping and looking the best in your clothes that you're going to wear. What I recommend is wearing Spanx under your dress to really give that hourglass effect. Or you can also wear a waist trainer underneath. It will just snatch everything together don't do this if you're going to eat a lot of food i do not recommend that i personally do not own any spanx so i cannot show you how it looks before and after but spanx or waist trainers are a great idea if you want to look snatched in your dress my next tip is also fashion related i would suggest either wearing a dress that's like super extra like a dress with like sequins or glitter on it and to be very minimalistic on the accessories because if you do have a dress that's very out there you don't want to go overboard you either want to do a lot of accessories and a very basic simple dress or you want to wear that extra dress that you're going to wear once a year and be very low key on the accessories this is really a case where less is more so really try to balance it out don't go overboard. So my next tip will make you look extra, extra bougie and extra chic in a matter of seconds. And this is to wear faux fur. It will dress up any outfit. It will make you look sophisticated and pulled together. It's the perfect accessory, especially now during winter and the holidays. This is from Zara. See how this adds like instant Extraness. I've had this one for like forever. I will try to find similar ones and link everything down below. I do own a lot of faux fur coats, a lot of faux fur jackets and just accessories. I love to wear basic clothes and then style it up with like handbags and faux fur, especially in winter. And it just looks so good. So I know faux fur is not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally love and wear it all the time during winter and whenever I do so, people tell me I look extra sophisticated when literally all I did was throw on some fluffiness. So my two last tips are completely free and can make the biggest difference in a matter of seconds. The first one is your posture. I always say it, posture is so important to dance, ballet and jazz. I've learned to keep my body straight and sometimes I catch myself not sitting very straight and I immediately correct my posture and it makes the biggest difference. Like Besides, it will also always make your boots look bigger. So my last and final tip is don't forget to smile. Smiling is so important. Having a positive attitude is very important. People that laugh and smile and are bright are usually a lot more attractive than people that don't and beauty really does come from the inside if you feel good on the inside it reflects on the outside you can be miss universe but if you're not acting confident and if you don't tap into that inner smile you will just not stand out in the crowd so these are my tips on looking the best for New Year's Eve or just any just any important night out. If you do have other tips that you want to share, feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. And I wish you guys a happy and safe new year. If you don't see each other again, this is crazy because I can't believe we're going into 2018, but that's how it is.
I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye!